Hello Pisces and welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. This is a weekly reading for Pisces from the 3rd to the 9th of December 2018. Please don't forget to watch your moon and rising sign for a more complete picture. If you would like a personal reading, I'll put my details in the description box so please contact me. I've also put the decks I'm using in the description box and links to Amazon and eBay uh, so you can buy these decks. And please don't forget to watch my deck walkthrough series. You might find that interesting. So please like, share, subscribe and leave me some comments if these messages resonate with you. So I'm starting off with the general energy read and then I will do the general tarot read after that. So the first card is the box which says you are receiving some sort of gift. Uh, in this box and you've got the rooster uh, you might be dealing with a very arrogant boastful person uh, that you really shouldn't cross so somebody that you're dealing with uh, who's giving you a little bit of grief but really you know not not something that you should retaliate um, just you know let them say what they have to say and move on uh, don't don't get involved with them in uh, as such um, so right now you've become very goal orientated and you are setting your sights on something and so you're learning you are starting to refocus your attention on on the target so uh, maybe you have a new goal in mind and that's what you are, are trying to um, gear all your energies towards so in the past you've got the dagger fears and worries and a tense situation so you might have been dealing with some a kind of a disruption in your life and it looks like there was a lot of backstabbing as well involved in that. And this has caused a lot of fear and worry on your part. Now you've got the goldfish following that. So there's an increase in material wealth or spiritual growth. So maybe all these problems that you've been dealing with has caused a lot of growth spiritually. Or you may have had some sort of windfall as well. Some money coming in with this fish. Usually the fish card indicates some kind of uh, windfall coming in. So going into the future, there's some event that you probably will be attending. There's a gong event. So it looks like there, you know, there may be an announcement during this event, but some sort of um, maybe a party or celebration that you're attending where some information comes to light. And then you've got the turkey over here that uh, you, there's somebody around you that's not really behaving well, uh, uh, you know, behaving like a turkey. So uh, somebody behaving, behaving very stupidly, and you might be dealing with this person at this particular moment. So... Um, uh, two good cards here as uh, receiving some sort of gift and attending some exciting event. And whatever person that you're dealing with, maybe the rooster is actually the turkey, uh, somebody behaving very arrogantly and they're not behaving very nicely. So uh, just ignore them. And, you know, you've got just your your focus, you're, you're getting your focus in order right now, learning to focus your attention on your goals. And that is a really good place to be. So those are the energies for that week. So I have shuffled this deck. I'm just going to draw some cards from it. So the main energies is the chariot and it looks like there will be achievement. This is an achievement card, uh, but there's some sort of sacrifice that will, you know, it's usually after sacrifice of sorts. This man has lost his arm. Uh, I'm not saying that you will, but it's just that he's made a sacrifice and that is how he's achieved his goal. So you are moving forward. A lot of hard work and effort will have to go into this project that you're doing, but you will achieve success. Uh, that will come to you. That is a given. <coughs> And you are moving forward quite quickly. So uh, whatever, um, you know, you're very determined. This is a card of great determination. And, um, and like I said, it's a card of achievement, which is after all this hard work, that's exactly what you want to hear, that there will be success. Uh, despite all the pitfalls, despite all the problems that you've been through, you are going to be successful. So uh, what's going on with you? You've got the High Priestess and you've got um, the Ace of Rods. So uh, you're waiting for some news to come in. Uh, you can see she's sitting over here, you know, looking really uh, a bit uh, concerned. 
you know, she's fretting over whatever she's waiting for. So, you know, maybe whatever your uh, whatever news you're waiting for, whatever changes you're waiting for, is making you very very anxious. Uh, and you know, you are trying to keep it all in bottled in because the high priestess she never ever usually talks about how she feels about things. She keeps everything inside, and uh, you know, with a high priestess, she is uh, uh, the um, queen that follows the moon. So she is somebody that relies on her intuition. And Pisces is a very, very intuitive sign. And it is something uh, that you need to learn to do if you're not doing it already, is to follow your intuition. Now, so you're waiting for something to come in, uh, some sort of information, um, something. You're waiting on the cycles. And it looks like it is going to come in because you've got the ace of rods crossing it over here. And this is showing news. You can see this man is blowing this trumpet over here. And this man is holding this new uh, mistletoe over here. So a new project, something new coming in and something that is very healing for you. Uh, so whatever you're expecting looks like it's going to happen and it's going to be very, very good news. Uh, something very, some new, brand new thing beginning for you. A new um, project, some new inspiration, some new enterprise, so a new pathway in life opening up. So you just have to have that little bit of patience because the um, High Priestess does talk about patience and that will come in for you. So in the past uh, year, you have been... Um, Maybe you got a new job offer that came in and you've been working very hard uh, at your job over here. You can see this man is bringing this man news or giving him this this um, rod, um, a rock thing, which is like, looks like a little egg. And he's giving it over to him. Um, and that shows that, you know, maybe you've been involved in some sort of business deals and working pretty hard at your job. And you may have received some kind of offer uh, to start something new. Um, and now you've got the, in the last three months, you've got the uh, Empress over here, which is showing prosperity after a lot of hard work and a lot of defense. Because she is a, a bit of a warrior, so she, um, warrior as in a fighting queen. So, you know, you can see that, you know, she has fought for what she's wanted. And nothing came easy to her. Um, and now she can, she's got a lot of abundance. So you've been getting news of some abundance coming in for you after you've had, a, you know, you've had to fight for it. You've got, had, a, a, you know, maybe you've had some problems with money because you've got this uh, coins or gold in this um, crow's mouth so it looks like you know you've had some pit uh, some falls pitfalls with money where there's been problems with it but now it is now working out and the abundance is coming and you know you have your ha your feet now on stable ground so you are now getting sorted slowly um, and you know it's a time for for you to have some kind of um, you know pat yourself on the back have some sort of celebration that things are starting to go your way abundance is coming your way slowly and now it looks like you know there's something new that is going to come maybe it's, this is an offer but something new opening some new brand new cycle opening even though it might seem a bit stagnant right now, it looks like things are going to start moving. Now you want achievement. You've got the King of Pentacles over here on your uh, mind, so that means that you know you want to achieve things. Uh, you want to reach uh, a point where you know you are in charge of things, and you are um, you, know, you have that wealth, you have that stability. You can see there's a lot of rocks. That there's a, a long road. Uh, which you came there's a lot of obstacles that you had to come through but now you're finally at the end of it and uh, you know you are close to achieving your goals and that's what you are hoping to achieve soon so you've got the eight of rods over here there might be some family celebrations coming in over here getting together with people having a lot of communication going on over here with this eight of rods you can see there's like parties and we're entering into december so this is probably a, a period where you will have a lot of networking and meeting a lot of people and they might be people that make a big difference in your life so maybe this new cycle that is opening up for you with this ace of rods is going to lead you to meeting a lot of people a communicate network with a lot of people so what's happening with you? Um, you're at a point where maybe you are going through an assessment uh, at work. You've got a lot of people criticizing whatever work you've been doing. You're presenting your case to people as well. So this is going on around you. Uh, you're not too keen on it. Uh, this is the five of uh, rods over here. So maybe they're, they're just being very critical or may, maybe just being a bit silly um, about what they're saying. But, you know, they're definitely going through your work with a fine tooth comb and you're having to present it. So this looks like it's like some sort of job assessment that you're going through at the moment. So what's uh, going on around you? You've been working a lot, maybe you team working and learning your trade, learning your, uh, you know, learning in that kind of process and very, very focused on your work, um, you know, and also learning how to communicate your ideas across. So been working extremely hard, maybe becoming an expert in the field that you're doing and very focused on your work as well. 
and there's been very, very hard work. So what's uh, you're worried about? So there might be some opposition that you're facing in your work situation here. Uh, you can see this, there's competition going on over here, and maybe somebody's uh, giving you grief as far as moving forward, presenting some problems, and this is what's been on playing on your mind, um, you know, that this person might be better than you. Uh, and there, there's a bit of conflict that is going on in your work situation as well. So going into the future, you've got the Three of Cups, um, you've got the Devil card over here, and you've got the Two of Cups. So with the Three of Cups, it looks like, uh, you know, lots of celebrations, meeting people, networking, uh, um, you know, meeting people in your work situation as well. Um, so it looks like a, a little bit of a party, some sort of celebrations going on, and you might be attending a lot of parties. Remember, don't overindulge and make sure that uh, you are aware if it's an office party, this is an opportunity for you to network make contacts in order for you to move forward. So use these times um, as uh, stepping stones uh, in order to progress in your career. Uh, and, you know, not to do something silly, but rather to use it as a, uh, as a, as a process in which you move forward. So, you know, uh, be very smart about how you communicate with people because you want to leave an impression on them and uh, you want them to be, these might be the people that will be instrumental in uh, in your future progress so be aware of that because you can see there's a big doorway over here so it looks like these people that you're meeting are going to be people that give you that stability and allow you to move forward um, and open doors for you so be aware of that so you've got the um, the devil card over here being very focused on your work maybe you're just getting through the mundane of of your job you know, doing the day-to-day -day tasks, and maybe it's not paying very well, and maybe you're feeling very, very restricted as well. But you, these are things that you need to get through, uh, and it there is a lot of focus on work, so you will need to focus on it. Uh, it seems like it, it it does tend to tie you up, but this is how you're going to move forward, um, and you will be meeting a lot of people um, through your work situation. You meet some somebody who will be very, very supportive. Uh, you know, a very, very good friend, somebody who allows you who's supportive of you but allows you to move forward and brings in that stability so meeting somebody at work whom you befriend um you know almost a soulmate connection with this person uh, i say that it's work at work because it's following the devil card the devil card is usually um a card that's ruled by capricorn and that indicates work saturn so this person that you're meeting don't overindulge with them uh it's not they're not drinking buddies if you uh, play your cards right, there are people that will help you move forward in life. So, you know, just make sure that it's all, uh, you know, th that you're not um, going down the route where you're, um, you know, overindulging. Because this can also show with the devil and uh, the two of cups showing, you know, uh, drinking too much or um, doing things that are really, um, really shouldn't be um, done. And, you know, although it's nice to go out, uh, but going overboard is not something that you should um, entertain at this particular moment. Make sure that you're keeping a clear head um, and don't overindulge. Um, especially, you know, they might have long-term repercussions and you really don't want that to happen. Um, even though this is the Christmas period and it is a period of, you know, celebration, uh, this could end up, like, looking bad on your record. Uh, so make sure that you're not doing that, uh, not overindulging, um, with the devil card, it you know it shows that there's an addiction of sorts. So don't get into that kind of phase where you're 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 just you know over partying and not concentrating on the work. So you need to take the focus off that and start focusing on the work situation and know that the people that you meet um, today are the people that are going to determine your future tomorrow. So make sure that you're leaving a good impression. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the um, animal tarot. So you've got the Three of Spring over here, which says, Stop to take time to review and make long-term plans, capitalizing upon your past successes. It's appropriate to put yourself on the back of all your accomplishments. Sorry, it's appropriate to pat yourself on the back um, for all your past accomplishments, but you may also need patience for the new phase to play out. So uh, it looks... Um, 
This is the three of spring. You need to make some long-term plans. This is usually uh, the three of wands. So make some plans for the future and know that, you know, whatever you do is going to pay out, but you're now going entering into the second phase. So, you know, the, the, the three of wands shows the first phase is complete and now you will progress to um, making these plans uh, a reality. And the second one is the Eight of Winter, which says it is easy to convince yourself that you are trapped when you really aren't. Trust that God will lift you to new heights and give you a greater self-confidence if you affirm your freedom. So if you're feeling a bit restricted, you're not so, it's not so. There is a, you know, a, a release coming. So you, know, you are free to do whatever you want. Be careful of people that are gossiping around you, people saying things uh, behind your back. Don't divulge information that doesn't need to be divulged to people. But if you're feeling stuck, you'll soon um, become unstuck, if you like, uh, coming out of that cage. But you must think positive. Don't let your uh, negative thoughts uh, restrict you. And you've got the five of autumn over here. It says focusing upon the negative and worrying about money or your career can block your progress. Um, because your trust and faith are at a low point right now, it is not the best time to start your own business or become self-employed. So any kind of... Um, depression or negative thinking that you got going on because you know with the devil card there can also be a lot of negative thinking feeling very restricted you need to start um, saying things that are positive making positive affirmations uh, in order for you to move forward because this negative affirmations if you're having this depression should actually uh, will actually produce negative manifestations so if you say I can do it then you can do it and if you say I can't do it then obviously you won't be able to do it uh, so you need to actually start making some positive affirmations and thinking positively in order for you to move forward even if it, it looks like things are very stagnant uh, these are just temporary energies and they will move so you need to know that this, the wheel of fortune is turning all the time so it is taking us in and out of positive and negative energies and you know where we're going through a low cycle right now you will end up the wheel has to turn and you have to go into a higher cycle so just remember that negativity but during the low cycles it's not nice to even talk about negativity you don't want to affirm negativity so even when you're going through low cycles you need to affirm positivity in order to for you to move forward so that's very important you need to stop being negative know that something new is coming in for you um, in this period try not to overdo it and take it easy you are going through some sort of uh, um, assessment over here uh, it looks like it all will work out um, because there's no negative cards after that if you're having any kind of problems with people uh, you know this is just a fear that should actually sort itself out and there are lots of uh, you know getting togethers and gatherings and it looks like you know you are going to meet a lot of people and something brand new beginning for you as far as uh, you know work or enterprise or maybe a new project coming in for you and you are sitting and waiting for that so with this achievement card um, you know you will this chariot card it's a card of achievement you will achieve whatever you want to but you need to take it easy and not be negative about everything that is going on around you just be very positive say a lot of positive affirmations and don't allow yourself to get down and depressed if everything seems a little bit stagnant right now these energies will shift so i hope that this reading has resonated with you please don't forget to like share subscribe and leave me some comments if it has thank you so much for watching take care now goodbye